8 News is your local election headquarters. Amid the heated exchanges of last night's presidential debate, one thing stood out, the need for accurate information. Tonight, we dive into the world of fact checking. 8 News reporter Sarah Molina joining us live from our digital center after speaking with experts about the importance of truthful information and what that has on voting. Sarah. Heather, with just over 50 days before the presidential election, last night's debate was historic for many reasons. But one thing political experts say was done differently and interestingly was the increase in live fact-checking from moderators. The real-time fact-checking was unusual. Um, typically what we've seen uh, with presidential debates is after the event, um, you get fact-checking. But last night, fact-checking started as soon as the debate did. The FBI says overall violent crime is actually coming down in this country. But Excuse President me, Harris, the FBI, defraud, the they were defrauding statements. Political analysts say this rise of words like fact-checking, fake news and fake media are all things that have come to light during America's last few elections. Election, people should never be thinking about an election as fraudulent. As the political climate changes every day, analysts say in the past, politicians were better about disclosing truthful information to voters. If they didn't want to talk about something, they didn't because they didn't want to necessarily lie. Um, that doesn't seem to be the case with uh, Trump or Biden. And I'm not entirely sure that will be the case in regards to Harris if she wins in the fall. Augenbaugh says this could be attributed to the rise of social media. We political scientists are oftentimes astounded at uh, what we see people post on social media and then they will repeat because they saw, saw it on social media. And as a political science professor, he says he notices students are desensitized towards fact-checking the news that they see on social media. It's why he says fact-checking during last night's debate might have been useful for some, especially one key group of voters. To what extent will undecided voters pay attention to that? Because again, I have my doubts that Harris supporters or Trump supporters will care all that much one way or the other. Regardless, Augenbaugh says there are ways to combat fake news. Don't rely on just one source and don't rely just on a politi political party or the political parties or even campaigns. Just minutes after the debate ended last night, Vice President Harris's campaign announced that she would like to engage in a second debate with former President Trump, but nothing has officially been scheduled. Reporting live in the Digital Center, Sarah Molina, 8 News. Sarah